All right, so there's a lot of people that have this belief that I'm just gonna sit on my couch and wait for the vaccine for the vaccine as if there's just going to be one vaccine that's going to cure humanity if i need to sit on my couch for 24 months 36 months never see my family never go to church never go to a wedding never go on a vacation that's fine life is just going to stop until there's a there's a vaccine but i want to remind everyone of this and i have a ton of literature i'm going to make a longer video of this that the effectiveness of a vaccine depends on your host immune system okay so let's talk a little bit about how vaccines work. And I want to let you know, I'm not an immunologist. I do have a degree in biology, so I understand immunology and I have a master's degree in nutrition. But I want to let you know that I've been diving extensively into the effectiveness of vaccines given for individuals that are overweight, obese, or have diabetes. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of data showing that if you have those conditions, vac vaccine effectiveness goes down. So again, if you're one of these folks that's just sitting around eating bonbons, having Mountain Dew, not making the appropriate lifestyle choices that are gonna improve your body's metabolism and immune system, the effectiveness of the vaccine may or may not be that good for you. There's a ton of data showing in obesity that, guess what, effectiveness of a bunch of different vaccines is not very effective because here's why, okay? When you're given a vaccine, the virulent components of that, whether it's for a bacteria, whether it's for a virus, the virulent elements of that that will cause you to get sick are stripped out. So you're just getting the antigen so that your body, your immune cells, your antigen, antigen presenting cells and your own host immune machinery can sense that antigen, put it on the surface of the antigen presenting cells and send that message using all of which using your host, immune, your own immune system. Again, this is not some foreign immune system that's given to you. You're just given the antigen, okay? That's all the vaccine is, okay? It, it, the effectiveness depends upon your, uh, your body's own machinery to then translate that message to naive, which are undifferentiated T cells. So again, those antigens are coming from the antigen presenting cells, all of which your own immune system has to do the work to then send that message or, or translate that message to these naive CD4 T helper cells. And guess what? Those, those T cells, those naive undifferentiated T cells are then, and CD8 T cells are going to then relay that message to your B cells, which will make antibodies, okay? So all of this depends on your own immune system, which I think is the silver lining here. If our immune system could not make antibodies against this novel human coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, there would be no vaccine. That's the good news. Multiple studies are coming out showing that individuals, healthcare workers back when MERS was a big thing, the Middle, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, which was again caused by a similar coronavirus, uh, the SARS-CoV, the very first um, SARS pandemic, individuals and healthcare practitioners that treated patients during that time, they have antibodies. So again, there's good news here. There's good news. The vaccine might be effective because our own immune system is able to make antibodies against it. And multiple studies now are showing that not everyone dies from this. 80% of people that are exposed to this do quite well. They don't need to go to a hospital. They, know, they don't need to be intubated on a, a ventilator in the ICU. Okay, more than 80% of people that get infected don't need to go to the hospital. Okay, so I want you to realize that it's on you. It's on you. The, your response, or I should say your diet, your lifestyle, your sleep, wake cycles, your circadian rhythms, your mindset, your relationships with other people and yourself are going to influence how a vaccine or the vaccine that's going to cure humanity and rid us of all these problems, the responsiveness to that supposed vaccine is on, is on you. It's on me. It's on my wife. It's on my daughter. It's on everyone. So the onus is on you to make the last all choices to compress your feeding pattern so that you can have less glycemic variability. I got this study right here. Um, <clears throat> glycemic variability in diabetes increases severity of influenza, right? There, there's tons of data, tons of reports showing that our diet and our lifestyle affects the human body's response to an infectious disease, right? A lot of people say, well, you, you can't choose whether or not you get infected. I get it, right? I can't choose whether or not I get infected. I can choose what I eat and therefore I can I can choose how my body will respond to being infected with this novel human coronavirus or another virus. So I want you to realize that the onus is on you. It's on you, friends. 
Don't sit on your couch and eat bonbons and think, poor me. I'm just gonna sit here for the next 36 months and let my life hit the pause button. Because you know what? There's side effects. There's complications associated with so social isolation. There's complications of not being around other people. There's complications. And look, I'm not saying break you know, the, the federal government's mandate of, of you know, the stay-at-home order. I'm not suggesting that. I'm not suggesting you don't social distance. I'm not saying go lick toilet seat in the ICU, okay? But I do want everyone to know that just because there's a vaccine, it doesn't mean that, that every human being, uh, every human's immune system it has some, exerts some sort of uniform response. The response is contingent upon the health of the individual, which is you. So you have tools in your power. We have a lot of fasting and fitness e-courses. Uh, we have a supplement company called Myoscience. If you want to optimize your body's blood sugar support and, and improve blood sugar health, I do recommend uh, berberine. Berberine hydrochloride with alpha lipoic acid is absolutely amazing. I recommend you walk after meals. I recommend you optimize your body's circadian rhythms and make sure that you're going to bed and rising at the same time uh, every day. I recommend going outside and exposing your retina to, to the sunlight in the morning and in, in the evening. I recommend hugging the people in your life that you care about. I recommend eating mindfully, chewing your food. I recommend not being on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube when you're eating. All of these things are things that we talk about in courses. So again, I wanna give you tools and solutions. There's many other solutions and tools out there. We have tons of free videos, but if you wanna learn more about that, we have courses and links below. I'm going to be making a much more detailed, extensive video all about the host metabolism, which is your metabolism and your immune response. Uh, but I just, I, I'm in the midst of the research and I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm seeing on Instagram, a lot of people have this doom and gloom mentality and this thinking that I'm just gonna put my, my whole life on hold until there's a vaccine. I'm not gonna change anything uh, in my lifestyle, my diet. Like I'm just gonna wait until Big Pharma comes out with a vaccine. I'm not trashing on vaccines, but again, we need to realize that the effectiveness of a vaccine depends on, on the host immune system. So um, feel empowered, all right? Let, let's, change, let's spread this message that the cool thing about the idea that there is a vaccine in development means that the human body can create antibodies against this. And, and so um, the, the power is on you, the onus is on you to make the healthy lifestyle choices. So uh, friends, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here. Let's get, get this together. Um, I, I would love to know what you think is the best strategy to optimize your body's health and your immune response. I personally think intermittent fasting, a one day a week fast, uh, weight training, sauna therapy, those are my favorites. I love berberine hydrochloride. Myo-inositol is another ingredient that I highly recommend that you consider. So um, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you very soon. Have a great day. Bye now.